when earthly authority goes against heavenly authority, we must choose to obey God instead of man. Because not every earthly ruler, be that in government, in business, in the family, in the school, or other realms, therefore, there are cases when leaders uh, will ask us to do things that are not right, that are not godly, that are against the teachings of the Lord. And when those things happen, remember, give to God what belongs to God, okay? And there are times when we have to refuse to obey them because to obey them is to disobey the Lord. You know, we do mission and, for example, we go to uh, Myanmar. In Myanmar, legally speaking, it is not right for a foreigner to share the gospel to locals. So Americans, Filipinos, and so on, it is, strictly speaking, not legal for us to go there and preach the gospel to them. But the role of government is to punish evil and to promote good. They do not have authority to say no to the preaching of the word of God because that is the command of God. Therefore, we still do mission. Amen? Those things are very, very important. Who of you has a Bible, a, a printed Bible with you, okay? You have, if you have a printed Bible, all right, your Bible, you, it's, which is probably in English, you enjoy that, but in the centuries before our century, bawal magbasa ng Bible pag hindi ka pare or clergy, all right? And then... Bawal siya i-translate into other languages. Dapat Greek and Hebrew original, tapos Latin. Yun lang, alright? Maraming pinatay when they translated the Bible in the dialect that the people can understand. So many people, it was illegal and people were threatened and people were killed because they wanted to make the Bible accessible to people because they believe that is what the Bible says. And of course, they're right, alright? If they obeyed the law of their land, of their leaders, eh, wala siguro tayong Bible ngayon that we can read in our blessed. But because we had people who obeyed God instead of man, we enjoy the word of God. Amen? Palapakan natin si Lord for the lives of those who died so that we can have the scriptures in our language. Thank you. All right, let's look at an example, for example, in uh, Acts 5, 27 and 29. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. That's a religious and political council of the Jews. And the high priest questioned them. That's the apostle saying, We strictly charged or commanded you not to teach in his name. Bow and make peace about Jesus. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching. And you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Verse 29. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. Remember earlier, we read 1 Peter 2.13. Peter wrote, obey the leaders of society. But in this case, the leader said, bawal mag-preach. Sabi ni Peter, we must obey God rather than man. May limits po ang authority ng government. May limits po ang authority ng parents. May limits po ang authority ng um, business bosses natin or our employers and so on. My limits. And when there is a, 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 a violation of God's law, we choose to obey God rather than men. Daniel 6, 7 uh, to 10 talks about the story uh, where um, there were administrators, prefects, satraps, verse 7, advisors, governors, they agreed that the king should issue an edict or a law and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or human being for 30 days except to the king uh, will be thrown into the lion's den. Verse 9, so King Darius uh, of uh, the kingdom of the Medes and Persians put the decree in writing. Now when Daniel learned the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room when the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to God just as he had done before. So there was a king who said, Bawal magpray sa kahit kanina sa akin lang. Bawal magpray sa inyong God. And Daniel knew that and he disobeyed. And he did not disobey in private. 
He did not close the windows para no one can see him. The windows were open. That's why they saw him praying because that was the practice or the instruction. They, they looked to Jerusalem to the east and they would pray, etc. And they call on God who lives in Jerusalem. That's, that's the belief, all right? And the idea is, Daniel did as he had done before. Hindi na binago ang practice niya dahil may tao na akala niya Diyos siya at akala niya pwede niyang bawalan ng tao na hindi mag sa tamang Diyos. Amen? When that happens, we choose to obey God rather than men. Amen? And so, we, we want to do that. Now, applying that to a different context, for example, in our employment, okay, when your boss tells you, you know, make them believe it is like this, tell them this, etc., you have to choose. You have to decide, no, I will tell the truth. I am willing to suffer. I'm willing to even risk my work. I will not bow to human pressure. I will honor God. Amen? We're not being rebellious. We're not being evil. We're not being bad. We are being godly. We're being loyal to the true leader of our lives. That's to the Lord. Amen. And so we want to do that. 